Hey there. So in previous tutorial, uh, we talked about Sugar CRM contacts, and now in this tutorial, we will see how contacts work. You'll find that in Sales tab, you have links to home, accounts, contacts, opportunities, and leads. So just click on accounts. It will show you the view for accounts where you don't have any account right now you can view the current accounts and also input the accounts from another crm or from your web applications for accounts let's create one okay so when we click on create account we will be redirected to this page and these will be the account that we want to track for payments and for projects so let's type the name let's add the other details like office phone fax address also the email address also the information like person's role or like let's say what's his domain like he's analyst competitor customer integrator investor partner etc these are the contacts that are important for your organization to know more about that person let's start with customer here also let's see what's his revenue let's go with ross figure like 23000 us dollar let's see his industry it's something like finance how many employees are working with him to ownership for you can type the name of company then who is assigned to work with this person uh, by default it is admin you can remove this or you can select the user from the available users on your CRM click on save okay our contact is now add it and we can view it here okay so we have name city billing country missing otherwise phone who is assigned to this person email address and the date when the contact is added now you know how to add the contact let's check import contact function like I talked about the file import feature in contacts you also have it in accounts as well okay so you just have to add a file which is going to help you add the account and the information about that customer or person so there is a template which you can use click on this link and the template will be downloaded you can then edit it and then just upload it okay so we have this template here let's just go with the default okay so this is the template for now name id website and rest of the columns are there which you can fill out for each person and then save the file and import from here which will show you the list of accounts and 
this here you can also create new one by clicking on create account which will be the same procedure like I shown you I hope by now you know how to create an account also know you know how to create a contact and you can also see the type of account and contacts you know type of account also the domain of that person these two are the important fields while maintaining your accounts for the customer or the person related to your sales department okay in next video we will look at opportunities and lead time i hope you are enjoying this tutorial i will see you in next video